Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on rendering an RDLC report in a React application. An RDLC report is an XML-based file that contains the report layout, parameters, and other report-related information. The main difference between RDLC and RDL reports is that RDLC reports are designed to pass the data report from applications. RDL reports, on the other hand, intend for the data to be retrieved by processing the report through a report viewer. We need to set four items to render an RDLC report in the React Report Viewer. Reporting Service This service is used to interact with server-side report processing. Processing Mode This option specifies whether to process the report in local or remote mode. The reports will be processed as RDL if the processing mode is set as remote, and RDLC if it is set as local. Report Path This option is used to set the path of the report that we are going to render in the React Report Viewer. Data Sources These are used to assign the required data to the report. First, I need to create a reporting service. So, I create an ASP.NET Core web application in Visual Studio 2022. And install the boldreports.net.core NuGet package in the created application. Then I create a new controller file and name it reportviewercontroller.cs. In the controller file, I add the necessary using statement. In the route attribute, I add the action placeholder. And remove the API controller attribute. Inherit the iReport controller. I copy the necessary variables and methods from the documentation. And paste them inside the report viewer controller class. Then I open the program.cs file and add the add memory cache and add cores methods. I also add the use cores method. I create a folder named www root in the root folder. Inside the www root folder, I create a folder named resources. And inside that, I add the already created product list.rdlc report. For this demo, I have an ASP.NET Core reporting service. You can also use an ASP.NET report service. I have provided the documentation links for both, as well as a link to the sample report in the video description for your convenience. Next, I need to create a React application. Before following along, make sure your development environment includes Node.js version 8 or above. NPM version 3 or above. Let me start by creating a React application. The Create React app is a simple way to create a single page application that provides a build setup with no configuration. I run this command to install the Create React app globally in the command prompt. To create a new application, I run this command. The create react app command adds react, react dom, react scripts, and other dependencies required to create an application. Next, I change the directory to the react application root folder. Then, I need to install the type definitions for the create react class. For that, I run this command in the command prompt. To install the bold reports react package, I run this command in the command prompt. Next, I need to add the script reference. Bold Reports needs a window.jQuery object to render React components. I create a new file and name it globals.js in the src folder. I copy the code from the documentation and add it to the globals.js file. Next, I open the index.js file. I copy the code from the documentation and then replace the existing code in index.js. Next, I want to add the scripts file. 
First, I open the index.html file from the public folder. Then, I copy the scripts from the documentation and add them in the head tag. Next, to add the report viewer control, I open the app.js file. I copy the code from the documentation and replace the existing code in the app.js file with it. I add the report service URL. This URL specifies the service URL in which the report viewer service is hosted. Then, I set the value for report path. I add the view report click value inside the app. It calls the view report click method. Then I copy the view report click method from the documentation and add it inside the app.js. I save the file. Next, I open the reporting service application. I create a class file named productList.cs in the application root folder. I copy the code from the documentation and paste it inside the product list class. Then, I open the report viewer controller.cs file from the controller folder. In the oninit report options method, first I set the value for processing mode to local. Next, I need to load the report as a stream. To do that, first I create a variable named base path and assign the folder path value that has the report. I combine the base path with the report path sent from the React application. Next, I create an instance for the file stream and assign the file path to it. I create the memory stream and copy the file stream value to it. After that, I assign the report stream value to the report option .report model .stream variable. I add the data value collection to the data source value. Here, name is case sensitive, and it should be the same as the data source name in the report definition. The value accepts I list, data set, and data table inputs. I save the file. And now everything is ready to render the RDLC report from the report service. First, I build and run the service. And then I run the npm run start command in the command prompt. It will open the browser and you will see the report is loaded there. In this video, we saw how to create a React application, how to reference the required scripts to render the RDLC report, and how to set the variables that need to be declared to render the report. I have provided a documentation link in the description below for the steps that we followed in this video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.